We want to set as close to where the coyotes are moving as possible. Look this side over. The coyotes are running down this two-track trail. A little bit of a cut bank here on the east side. So we'll set a trap, a dirt hole set right here in the edge of the bank. Ground looks pretty hard, pretty firm. Been a while since it rained. Might take me a little while to dig a dirt hole in. But sometimes the ground is easy to dig and other times it's not. And this is a time that it's not. Need a dirt hole. I like big ones. Look maybe a little bit more realistic. They're showy. Part of the attractant is the dirt, the smell of the fresh dug soil, and the appearance. Usually use a kneeling pad, not so much to keep my scent, but it reduces the scent I leave here, but also keeps my knees out of the stickers. When the ground's this hard, Sometimes that makes you rethink about putting a dirt hole in. You might want to use a flat set. We'll probably show a flat set later in the day. Even though this is the middle of summer, hard as the ground is, it reminds me of digging when it's frozen. All right, we got the hole a little over a foot deep. We're going to set our trap out here in front of the burrow, about 10 inches, maybe a little bit more away from it. We have to chop in a trap bed. I like to make my trap beds a little bit deeper than some folks do then refill them back in the bottom with loose dirt just allows you to bed that trap in some nice soft dirt we're going to be using a jake squared jaw trap ground's this hard, I usually don't stake right underneath the trap, I stake off to the side, so chop out a bed there, put my stake in. All right, using the jake trap with a shock spring in it, three swivels, Set it. I use polyfill underneath the pan to keep the soil out from under going underneath. Don't like too much so it sticks out the edges, but need enough to fill all the gap. On these traps, I use my knee to help set them. Remember, put a little of that soft dirt back in the bottom. Then we go to bedding it in solid. By that, I mean you take your fingers, holding the trap jaw open with one hand, packing soil all the way around the outside of those jaws with the other. You want that jaw on both sides packed solid so no matter where he steps, the trap doesn't wiggle. Got it bedded in there pretty good. Now to stake it down, I use a two-foot rebar stake. Just drive it straight in on 
ground that's this solid, that much clay. Occasionally you'll have to use two stakes. It just depends on your soil types. I drive them down in tight, put a little dirt back over that, pack it in. Good. Now we'll put the final covering back over the trap. I use a sifter to keep clods out, little rocks. Just shake it over the trap. Then brush it back down with your back of your hand to where you can find the pan. There's the pan. I like about a half inch, of, at least a half inch of dirt over the top. Throw your other stuff just off to the side. Again, packing it down good and tight around your trap. There's a little bit of a gap right here. I wanted to throw him in here so he goes over the pan, not around it. So we'll put a blocker right there. And I'll put a little bit of a blocker on this side. Going to put some lure in the bottom. I use a little bit of sheep's wool to hold it. Keeps your smell from being absorbed down into the soil. Put about a lime of bean size on that little dab of wool down in the bottom of the hole. You can also use bait. Typically I'll use a lure Maybe a gland lure or a food base lure. Also put coyote urine about a teaspoonful behind the trap. Pick your stuff up. Again, remember we're wanting this to look like something is dug here, so you can make it out pretty big and bold. And that would be a coyote dirt hole set.